Welcome to another episode of Boat Snoop. I'm your host Clint Johnson and what we have here for you guys today is a Hatteras 53. And so let me show you this boat. I'm excited to show her to you. The name of this Hatteras 53 is Liberty and she is located in Fort Myers, Florida currently. Thank you to the owners for letting me film their boat and so let's go check this boat out. We'll take a good look here from the dock side. I love these Hatteras. Just solid, big, beautiful boats. And you know, I love the woodwork on these. Um, just full of nice, beautiful wood. Comfortable, big, beamy, roomy. I mean, quite literally, these boats, it's like a house. You know, I mean, yeah, you can go out in the water and you can go travel and move your house from place to place. But if you want something that acts like a house, these Hatteras really have it going on. Great propulsion systems with Detroit Diesel 871s. Just absolutely gorgeous. And here I'll, I'll get you a drone shot of the other side so you can get maybe a little bit better view and then we'll hop on board and take a look. Again, you can see the name there, Liberty. On each side port and starboard, you do have an entrance to the salon and helm station, but we'll go up um, and check out the deck first. I just wanna show you guys how big and open and roomy these uh, Fordex are on these boats. Huge hatches for really good airflow. I mean, of course, this boat, when she's dockside, she does have air conditioning big storage boxes and just even they've taken a really done really good job on these handrails keeping them in pristine condition you got your windlass good size anchor I'm gonna step up here I think and actually uh, give you a better view Got an upper bridge as well, besides the internal helm station. Some nice cushions here to lay out or just have some, you know, sit up forward here and just kick back and relax while underway. When you're walking along the side of a boat like this, a lot of them, a lot of boats are really cramped, but even my wider shoulders, and yeah, I'm only 5'11", I have pretty wide shoulders. and you, you, you just you have plenty of room you're not squeezing through it's it's really nice you know you got your nice wood doors here something that you'll notice on boats like this is you're on the aft deck you have a huge living area and you know when you're out in the water you, you want to be out you know outside and enjoying it and this whole area is covered and is protected and so this boat has multiple living spaces. And so, you know, for you and all your guests, or if you know, it's just the two of you right now, the, you know, the current couple, um, they actually use this, you know, as their home, they live aboard. But, you know, one thing they said is it's super nice to have all these living spaces. So you have this living space back here, you have the salon, you have another one up top, we'll take a look at. And then obviously you can go down into the galley and the kitchen, you can sit there, you have, uh, uh, the two, the three staterooms, um, plenty, plenty of room, but just huge aft patio and deck. You can have yourself a small refrigerator there. Gosh, I love this woodwork on these Hatteras. When you get inside, you'll see what I mean. It's just like a living thing. The modern boats have lost it in the sense that, you know, they don't have all the nice, nice woodwork. And, you know, to kind of sum it up, I had a friend, he sold his 
sailboat that had all the beautiful wood and went to a more modern catamaran. And he said, Clint, you know, there's nothing living in it. I know the wood is quote unquote dead, but it's, there's so much plastic. And these old boats, they have such nice wood that they, they feel like they're alive. And you just can't get that in these modern boats. So this does open up right here and you can go down the ladder. Um, you can see the cables here. You can lift your dinghy up. Before we do head inside though, um, I'm gonna take you up that ladder and we're gonna uh, check out the upper helm station and check, up, check out the seating area up there and all the room for you and your guests. Let's head on up. Like I said, there's another good sized living area up here where you can just sit and relax. If you wanted to be in the open sun and it wasn't a rainy day, you can come up here, just kick back, relax, or if you're underway, whoever's captaining the boat's on the helm, you're just relaxing up here. Plenty of room for others to sit up here while underway if you're helming it from up here. Really nice helm station. Just look at this view, commanding view. Now this boat is a 53 foot boat, but you know, talking to the owner, he said, you know, Clint, they had initially thought about getting a four, you know, in the, a boat in the forties because it's just him and his wife. And, you know, you always think to yourself, you know, how hard would a boat be to handle um, with just two people? And he says, this boat handles so well that the two of them, they're, they're just, they're easily able to handle this boat. Now, that might not be the same if you get into, you know, the 60s or 70 foot or range or higher. But on this boat, he said, no problem. All right, let's head back down and uh, hop in the salon and snoop around inside. All right, we're back at the doors going to the salon. I just love this wood. Just gorgeous. Hey guys, do you need a loan to buy your new boat? So many lenders. Who to choose? Are you getting the best rate? What if the boat I want is older than 20 years old? Not to worry, my friends. Boat Snoop has a solution. As a yacht broker, I have a boat loan broker and sponsor of this channel that many of my clients use to great satisfaction. I jokingly call him my boat lending leprechaun, holding the holy grail in his right hand while riding a unicorn over a rainbow into a pot of gold. You might ask, Clint, why do you call him that? Because this guy, he has been in the business for over 30 years and has connections to almost every major boat lender possible. Additionally, he has a good handful of lenders that can finance a boat 21 to 30 years old. And lenders that do that are not that common. Finally, he has one lending source that can finance boats over 30 years old. That's right it could be possible to get a loan on an antique or classic boat. To summarize, using a boat loan broker such as this saves you time as you only have to fill out one application instead of many from a whole host of different lenders, which is time consuming and utterly exhausting. As many of my clients have found, he'll bring to you the best financing deals he can find and that you can qualify for. If you're located in the United States, need a boat loan for $20,000 U.S. Dollars or more, and you are interested in connecting with my personally recommended boat lending leprechaun, just email me your name and best phone number at lender at boatsnoop.com. 
Upon receiving your email, I will personally introduce my lender and you via email. At that point, I just fade away and let the two of you get to work on financing your new boat. Absolutely gorgeous. And there's something really cool here, and I was asking the owners about it. There is a, a screen here, and um, she said it's just magnetic. It's not Velcro. And then it goes right back to place with just, with just with ease. And she said she couldn't remember the name of this of this screen manufacturer, but if you you know did a search online like sliding glass door, uh, you know magnetic screen or something like that, you should be able to find it if you're googling it. But I just, I personally had never seen one of these. And it's just, it's absolutely wonderful. I just swung the camera around here real quick once again, just to kind of show this screen. And I'm not going to go on and on about the screen, but it is pretty cool. And because you don't see them very often, I mean, just what a great idea. Once again, this just, it breaks open and then it just goes right back together with ease. But let's check out the rest of this salon. So once again, you know, these Hatteras, it's all about the living living space and the different living areas. And it, it's just like having, having your own home. Look at all of the wood in here. You know, you can sit comfortably on the settee or couch. You have your TV, just like your home. Large, nice windows. couple rocking chairs in here but of course you know you could put in whatever you want but you just can't get this on the modern boats absolutely beautiful just look at that woodwork really nice helm station look at this big cushy cushy seat Swimming back behind there, that's probably the breaker panels. See she has sonar. Little chart plotter there, but you also got another chart plotter right there. VHF radio. Got your Simrad autopilot. Beautiful. All right, now we're going to head down to the galley. Really big, good sized galley. Nice thing about this, it has a full size refrigerator. It has a dishwasher, which is really nice. Nice electric stove, microwave. And the owners told me that these were these were new just a couple years ago. So really large, nice, is bigger, bigger than most apartments. Truly a house on the water, folks. All right, we're going to go into the first stateroom, and I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it. Um, a cruise state stateroom. Uh, it's a V-berth, has bunk beds. Like I said, they do live aboard, so they do have a few items stored, but, you know, not a big deal. I know you guys understand that. Um, but, once again, in a boat on this size, and I, I will leak it out, it is it is an under 200K boat. Um, you can get so much boat in washer and dryer. Right there. Amazing. So you're not hauling it to the laundromat. But of course, you know, if it's just, you know, two of you or something like that, and you don't have to run a crew on this boat. The owner said it's it's so simple to handle. You really don't need a crew, but if you want to when you could. But um, instead, you know, there's the grandkids, you know, there's the cousins, there's, you know, another couple, you know, something like that. But you got your two, two bunks here. Or if you don't have a lot of guests, you know, you just have a little extra storage like they use it for. And here we have the forward head. I know you can see me snooping around here in the mirror. <laughs> but nice sink, everything you need, toilet, 
drain in the bottom. This is a wet head. So of course you do have your shower right here. So this, this has three staterooms and three heads. So um, each stateroom has its own head. Once again, we're back in the galley, in the dining area. But now we're going to get to those wonderful Detroit Diesel 871s. I love these Hatteras engine rooms like no other. The ability that you can walk in your engine room. Well, I'm just going to shut up and I'm going to show you. I think you get it. So here we have the port engine room. Like I said, you have a place to walk around your engine, work on it. Access to all your systems, plenty of room, good sized toolbox. So many boats you're getting down in a bilge or something like that, but not with these Hatteras. We'll check out this other one on the starboard side as well. Here's the starboard Detroit 871 diesel. You can see in here, you got your Halon system, that big red tank there fire suppression you got your water heater on this side same thing something interesting um, that was shared with me on this boat a lot of times you don't get that info is the owner of this boat said with these Detroit's going at cruise and cruise for them is 10 knots at 1100 rpm guess the fuel burn only nine gallons of diesel per hour at 10 knots at 1100 rpm I mean, for a boat this size, that is great fuel economy. I'm going to close this all up and I'll take you back and we'll look at the rest of the staterooms. All right, as we head down this hallway, once again, another mirror. <laughs> See me sitting there. Um, both these engine rooms have aft doors as well to access. So you can access it from the forward or the aft on both engine rooms. But as we head forward here, we come to the guest stateroom, I like to call it. And just the way the wood, and just the, they're just beautiful. I mean, there is a decent amount of storage. The lights automatically come on in these closets. Good sized closet there, but just beautiful staterooms with all this woodwork. Plenty of storage down below. You see all those shelves. You see the air conditioning unit for this room. Well, now we'll just go check out the head, the guest head. Maybe you could say it's a main head, even though people, you know, you could use the, the one in the V-berth, which I was calling the crew. Full walk-in shower in this one. It's not a wet head. You have your own shower. Place to sit. Real nice. And now let's get back to this master stateroom. They always have really nice master staterooms. Love these. We'll stop first and we'll just check out the master stateroom head. Lot, a lot like the uh, guest stateroom head. Toilet, full walk-in shower. And now we get back to this master stateroom. Huge bed. All the same awesome, you know, amazing woodwork. Plenty of shelves down below, forward, on either side. And then what's not to like about all those shelves? plenty of storage and then just throw in an extra TV to boot and if that wasn't enough storage 
then we just got to end up coming around and checking out this huge, huge, huge closet. So we have a massive closet. It's again, beautiful woodwork. I'll open it up and take a quick peek. As you can see, it's deep, it's long, and the light pops on right away. All right, so we've got through most of the boat. Now I'm gonna take you back upstairs. Well, thank you for uh, joining me on this episode of Boat Snoop, where we toured uh, Hatteras 53 by the name of Liberty. And I just want to put a shout out to all my subscribers. Thank you. Um, this channel is relatively new, and this will actually be um, the 30th boat episode I've done this year. Um, and we just crossed the 500 subscriber mark. So thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you to all my future subscribers. If you'd like to subscribe, you know how to do it. You click that subscribe button. And of course, obviously, the thumbs up is, is always nice, um, gets it out there for more people so they can actually see all the different boats that I show. So thank you again. Have a great day. And I'll see you on the next episode.